are you? I hope you're well. So, what exactly is scene? I'm very excited for this as a certified emo. Yeah. Scene began in the US in the early 2000s. The name scene was first used around 2002 through the term scene queen, which was a derogatory term used to describe attractive popular women who were perceived by older hardcore musicians as only being involved in hardcore for its subculture. Gotta love gatekeepers. <laughs> Scene came from the already existing emo subculture. It became popular with adolescents in the mid 2000s and the early 2010s. In the mid to late 2010s, scene lost popularity, but it has seen a bit of a revival since 2019. Members of the scene subculture were known as scene kids, trendies, or scenesters. Fashioncore was an aesthetic originated by the metalcore band 18 Visions that helped to create the scene subculture. Deathcore was also influential. Originating as a way to purposely confront the hypermasculinity of hardcore, many aspects that would come to define the scene style were things like eyeliner and tight jeans for both girls and boys. According to Metal Sucks writer Finn McKenty, the quintessential scene haircut, which was choppy layers with side bangs covering the forehead, usually teased on top and dyed bright colors, was invented by the 18 Visions bassist Javier Van Hus. Van Hus himself had been inspired to create the haircut from seeing a poster of the band Orgy. <laughs> Sass music was also a notable origin of scene. Like fashioncore, sass was also a deliberate confrontation to hardcore's hypermasculinity. The fashion of many sass musicians, like Johnny Whitney, the lead vocalist for the Blood Brothers, were influential on the development of scene. Scene entered the mainstream pop culture with the exposure of the emo subculture, indie pop, pop punk, and hip hop. Scene is considered to have been developed directly from emo, and the two are compared pretty often. Some call scene being happy emo, and some emos criticize scene, claiming that they're ripping off the emo style. <laughs> Scene was also very popular on websites like MySpace and later Tumblr. The MySpace scene scene developed some of the internet's first celebrities like Audrey Kitching and Jeffree Star. Warp Tour was also very popular in the scene subculture. Rest in peace. Please come back. <laughs> Music was a big part of scene. Bands and musicians often associated with it are Asking Alexandria, Black Veil Brides, Bring Me the Horizon, Blood on the Dance Floor, Jeffree Star, Paramore, Mayday Parade, Escape the Fate, Falling in Reverse, Design the Sky, and many, many more. Many bands that are associated with scene became popular from MySpace. One of the most important elements of scene is the fashion. It's known for its bright colors, skinny jeans, and piercings. Again, hair is often choppy with lots of fringe, teased and dyed many bright colors. Girls will often wear bows, headbands, or tiaras as well. Both girls and boys will wear lots of black eyeliner. Girls mostly wear bright eyeshadow and fake eyelashes. Facial piercings, gauges, stretched ears, and tattoos are also typical with the scene style. Um, an androgynous look is also pretty common. Wearing lots of rubber and plastic bracelets is common, um, as well as plastic bead necklaces and necklaces with little charms like Hello Kitty and Broken Hearts. Large sunglasses are also typical as well for whatever reason, but you know, you do you. For tops, graphic tees are typical, skin tight tees with cartoon characters and retro patterns like polka dots, stripes, checks, or animal print. Band tees are a staple, of course. Skinny jeans are worn almost always, um, sometimes leggings because they're tighter than jeans. Black, blue, faded, acid wash, ripped, etc. Girls will wear tutus or layered skirts, usually above the knee. Um, underskirts are bright leggings, tights, or knee-high socks. Shoes are, of course, converse, vans, or colorful flats. Other components of being a scene kid are strong beliefs, like being straight edge, um, which means no drinking, taking drugs, or uh, sometimes having sex. Being vegetarian or vegan is common. These are, again, they're common but not essential, I don't think, but yeah. Now, you can find scene kids on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, um, or other websites that kind of try to mimic what MySpace used to be. In in 2019 and 2020, there were a few online movements that brought the return of the scene subculture, like the hashtag 29scene and the roaring 20s. How do I begin to describe what the word rar meant to scenes and emos? It w it just, it was, it was the word. It was the word. <laughs> Personally, I love the scene style. I always have. So I love to see its resurgence. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Does it make you nostalgic? I, I miss the 2010s. They were not the best years, but they were pretty good. <laughs> and the roaring 20s have not been very raw. <laughs> Hopefully scene continues its renaissance. Thank you so much for watching. Rawr.